Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And I say, uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a quick sit-down lesson on this uh, April the 26th, 2022, on this uh, Tuesday afternoon at 4.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, the title for this uh, sit-down lesson for today is going to be More Signs of... Uh, Modern day Babylon is falling, and and this is a news article from uh, CNN.com, uh, CNN Business uh, Market Now. In the highlight of this news article from CNN Business, and it reads, uh, "The Dow Jones fall 800 points of recession fears." It says. Uh, the U.S. markets plunge on Tuesday. The Dow Jones fed, uh, fell 820 points negative, or 2.4%, as a April sell-off spurred by fears of the economic slowdown continues follows Monday's short-lived recovery. The losses were led by a major gap tick uh, stocks. Investors await quick corporate earnings reports this week so yeah you know that gives you uh, another sign of uh, indications that uh, you know modern day Babylon is falling constantly and consistently and that's all you've been seeing in the news cause you know the uh, you know especially when it deals with the uh, Dow Jones the uh, uh, S&P 500 the NAGS deck the Dow Jones and they kept on having continual mixed reactions. Some days it might have the stocks and bonds be good. Because you know the uh, <coughs> the federal agents that's uh, associated with the uh, NASDAQ. Because you know they fund uh, money into the economy as well too. You know, push forth with the economy. And then, you know, with the slow growth of jobs and... Uh, the slow economic recovery and the Dow Jones been falling like negative 900 which was last week and it kept on having constantly consistent uh, reactions you know especially with the uh, situation going on in Shanghai and then with the situations going on with the Ukraine Russia deal uh, with the oil going up the interest rates uh, constantly consistently going up you know so that shows you more signs of uh, Babylon is consistently falling economic wise, you know, because I did a, a video similar to this last week of uh, when the Dow Jones fell, I believe, like negative 900 points. I did a video on this uh, last week, too. Now, here it is again in entering a new week, <laughs> you know, the Dow Jones fell what negative uh, 812 points. So sure, that shows you signs of uh, constantly, uh, consistently, uh, the fall of the daughter of Babylon, according to the Holy Scriptures. And I'm going to bring up uh, uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 2. And he cried with a mighty strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is falling, and is falling. It is becoming a becoming of a habitation of the heavens, and whole of every foul spirit in a cage of unclean for hateful bird. Yep, because it. <laughs> no, no, not yet.
I'm bring out another scripture. I'm gonna close this little quick sit down lesson in regards to uh, Babylon's constantly, consistently falling. Um, Salaki is a spell that word. Yep, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 9. We, have, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go to every one in its own country. For her judgment is reached unto heavens and lifted up even to the skies, right? Because, you know, the, uh, the more wickedness of uh, the daughter of Babylon is reached up into the heavens it had exceeded up to the heavens you know with all the uh, negative crazy wicked things even though i'm not going to name because you know babylon show forth itself every day in the news so i don't really have to explain much on that but you know i'm explaining it from an economic standpoint you know with the so somewhat uh growth of jobs somewhat so of a economic recovery you know that's why it says you know they fear of uh another possible of, of recession you know of a continual fall of uh, the uh, the economy of uh the door of babylon you know because because uh everything still consistently goes up with the interest rates uh, the cost of living the hyperinflation you know, the gas prices and everything that's going up, you know. The food's costs, the potential food shortages, you know, the potential, the cold word 19, that's potentially might go back up, you know. And the potential of the uh, mask mandate stuff, you know, in the, uh, in the stock exchange, look at all those stuff. And they, if it, feels like it's going to a negative approach and then the uh that the dow jones and the nasdaq and the s p 500 you know if it has a negative reaction that kind of messes up the economy as well too because these people that does these stocks and bonds on these businesses on these uh jobs and stuff like that because they push forth along with the economy as well too Especially with the uh, feds of that works in the uh, Dow Jones Wall Street industry, you know they fund money into the economy as well too. You know, <coughs> so yeah, you know that shows you more insights of a uh, and more indication and more examples that you know the modern day daughter of Babylon is constantly, consistently falling on the economic standpoint. You know, and their fears of a potential of uh, recession of an economic collapse, you know, and we had the worst economic collapse since 20, 2008, you know, and we might get back to those points, you know, so with that, I uh, hope this quick sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahusha, and first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash, Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom and a ball, ball, ball.